hi everyone in the previous videos we have studied about the two other type of statements that is selection statements and iteration statements in the selection statements we have studied if if else and switch and in the iteration statements we have studied for while and do while this is the video about the jump statement there are four types of jump statements break continue go to and return break is used to bring the control outside the loop you have already studied break with switch we'll explain that example again to you this is the switch example here we have written switch a so a is 1 so case 1 it will go into case 1 printf case 1 and come outside of this block because of this break we'll just compile it and uh, run it so you can see that only case 1 is printed if we remove the break from here so now we'll compile it and run it you can see that case 1 and case 2 is printed because there is no break in between so break is used to bring the control outside the block break can be applied by two ways one is switch you have just seen that and uh, another one is for so I'll explain you the example with for so what we can do is this is the for example it will print the value of i for five times we'll just run it so it is printing the value of i for the first time uh, I'll just put a break over here after this and I'll just compile it so you can see that there is only one value printed that is i is equal to 0 now what happens here we'll just explain you i is equal to 5 i is equal to 0 we again initialize it over here and i less than 5 0 less than 5 i is equal to 0 and break whenever break encounters it brings us outside of this move so it will not go to the increment it will not go for the next iteration and come directly out of the loop so you can understand here that uh, break can be only apply by two ways switch and for and break is used to bring the control outside the loop the next jump statement which we will be studying is continue this we have already written the code here now we'll explain you the code uh, uh, let's just remove this so you do not get confused by this we have declare a variable here so let's first study the motive behind the continue continue is used to skip the current iteration and go on to the next iteration continue will only be applied in loops not neither in switch neither in selection statements continue can only be applied in the loops all of the three loop for loop while loop and do while do while loop now we have done here we'll explain you we have declared a variable i for i is equal to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus so 0 less than 5 hello will be printed and then continue here so when it had conquered the continue it skipped the contract current iteration which means that it skips every single statement written below it and go on to the next iteration it will move to here it will update it 1 1 less than 5 then again print the hello I'll just put a backslash and over here I'll just compile it and run it you can see that hi there is not printed in this output because we have encountered continue before that and by the use of continue we can skip the current iteration which is going on and move on to the next iteration so you can understand the use of continue by this the next jump statements is go to go to is only works on labels we'll tell you what are labels go to is used to jump from one block to another or skip the a particular block of a statement and jump to the next one so we'll just compile it and run it then we'll explain it so you can see that there hello is printed and hi there is not now we'll explain you the output what happens it runs the program it encounters go to hello so hello is there and there is one statement in between the label this is a label the a name and a colon and uh, the syntax to go to this label is go to the label name and the semicolon so there is one statement between the label and the go to so whenever it encounters this go to hello it jumps the any single statement between them and uh, directly jump to the label and print its statement so when we'll run this 
you can see that only hello is printed hi there is not printed because it encounters go to hello and jump directly to the hello label by skipping this hi there statement the next jump statements is return return is a statement which used to exit the program remember break is the statement break a break is a jump statement which used to bring the control outside the loop continue is the jump statement which bring the control outside the current iteration go on to the next iteration go to is jump from one set of particular statement to the other statement by skipping the statements in between and return is used to bring the control outside the program when we'll compile this and run this you can see that hello is not printed because we have already returned one and it brings the control outside the program and no statement after that will be printed uh, i'll show you something more here we'll run it you can see that here the code block screen is showing process returned one because we have written one over here i'll write here 100 and uh, just close it and just compile it and run it again you can see that process return 100 is showing uh, and generally return is used whenever the return type of the function is end generally the return is used after we end our task every task we generally use return 0 to tell the comp uh, to tell us that uh, the our program has successfully run it always says process return 0 because we were return 0 here if we write 100 over here then it will run process return 100 so this is all about the statements you have studied selection statements iteration statements and jump statements in the next video we'll study about the in functions thank you